Okay, so let's get started with today. I am going to take a look at this piece. Something's bothering me about it. I don't know what it is, but I would like to address it. If you want your work critiqued, if you want to get your work critiqued, how do I get my work in your videos well, so that you can fix them? You just go to istabrak.com. Yes, I have a website. And you click on the subreddit icon right here. This takes you to the subreddit. This is a really important place to be on the internet right now, okay? This is probably the most important place to be on the internet. This is not fake news, this is real. I'm telling you, you guys have to be here. It's very important, <laughs> it really is, because being part of a community helps you stay an artist. Being part of a community helps you become a better artist. You have to be surrounded by other artists. We're social, we, we, they think we're antisocial, but we're not, we're very social. And um, meaning that we need to look at other art and we need people to talk about our art. We need to see other art and our art likes to be seen and we like to show our art that all that all like is part of being a social artist. So you see how other people work, you see the mistakes they're making, you learn from their mistakes, they tell you what mistakes you're making and slowly your brain learns how to do art. I am currently running a really interesting challenge and you win my masterclass, a portfolio review by me, one-on-one -on, -one on Discord screen share, uh, Porsche Studio, which I'm about to use today, and my brushes. Um, and you just get to join me on a call and, and on a critique hour, you get to be on my channel. Um, so <clears throat> uh, uh, please go to the subreddit, click on the Floral Humanoid De Design Challenge brief read through it. What are the requirements? How do you join the challenge? You just draw, you do all the preliminary sketches, etc., and you post it on the subreddit by creating a post. Please join us here. If you're a Discord user, go to the community tab on my website and click on the join the official Discord server. Please join us there on the Discord. Um, we do sketch challenges, seasonal sketch challenges. Again, the current challenge in the community that you can also talk to other Discord users uh, with. Um, uh, is the Floral Human Eye Design Challenge. So those are the main things. Portrait Studio, which I'm about to use today, and my Masterclass are both on sale. Masterclass is on Gumroad. Portrait Studio is right here, along with the rest of my brushes. My Masterclass is how to draw a portrait from front view from scratch. You don't have to be an artist. You don't even have to have ever drawn before because the way I teach is I start from the ground up. I start from the like the very the bedrock I start from the round and then I just work my way up into the final little highlight sprinkles that you add on a portrait so if you're a beginner if you're intermediate and if you're advanced you have something to learn from here and it's also 50% off until the end of April so I'm doing a lot of really crazy events in my community right now my community is very much alive and my channel is not my my clicks my views all of that are very are down because of this new way that YouTube is working so if you want to help the channel out just comment anything just a quick little emoji hello hi if you comment you will keep getting notifications you won't miss streams you won't miss community events etc um, there's another challenge in the summer there's another challenge in the fall you get yourself critiqued today to join the subreddit to join the discord it's all free um, only Patreon isn't free, but that's its own thing. And um, so yeah, please consider joining us. Uh, please consider leaving likes and comments and all of that. Thank you. Okay. Let's talk about this piece. So <clears throat> something's, something's off about it. There's a lot off about it. First mistake, first number one mistake that I see is the canvas is a square. The canvas should accommodate your character's stance. Write that back to me. Um, and then you have this really interesting kind of standing pose that you're trying to pull off as kinetic. So it's like artificial kinetic, but static pose, kind of like a pinup. It's basically a pinup. It is a pinup. Um, so I'm going to pose the model on Portrait Studio. And if, again, if you're on the fence about Portrait Studio, I hope today's display of its usefulness um, convinces you to go grab a copy. It is on sale at the moment. But let's really, really quickly pose this model. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my own thing while still inspired by what you're doing here. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is kind of do like a forced forward bend, but, you know, like those model-y forward bends, but also um, kind of tilted towards the camera. The neckline isn't that visible. Um, kind of fake proportions as well because it's kind of an anime pose. Um, do you know what I mean by anime pose? So manga, like kind of forced proportions, one piece proportions. 
um, and um, just trying my best to keep the character, keep the style alive while also making it look proportionate. So the model being proportionate to itself takes care of the proportion and then you can elongate features, you can thicken features, so you can adjust scale and size a lot in Portrait Studio. And I'm just gonna just do some interesting stuff. The one thing you don't wanna do when posing on Portrait Studio is just keep posing only on the vertical axis. Remember, everything rotates in all kinds of ways. Kinda tilting the head that way, tilting it away. Like again, it's, it's like she knows how to use this spear. It's not just the dorky model who's been given a weapon she doesn't know how to hold. This is, this is something that she's trained with for years. She knows how to use this weapon. Now I'm just gonna pick a better angle. I'm just gonna pick a better angle. Now let's take a look at this model and what you have here. What's the difference? So the pose is the character's personality. Write that back to me. So again, the pose is the character's personality, meaning that she has a more proud chest now. She's a proud warrior. Let me, uh, I don't like the bent arm. Let me make it straight. So now it looks like she's, uh, looks how, look how dynamic we have the pose now. Look how much more dynamic it is. You have, here, let me get the marker. You have the horizontal axis for this leg and this leg are completely two lines, different lines, sorry. So this flat as hell, they're on the exact same line. Do you see this? This is not acceptable. Completely destroyed the angle. Then she's bent forward. She looks a little bit shy, kind of receding into herself. Here, she's very proud. Her chest is out. The curvature of her chest is an outward motion. Then we've got the, the head tilted away. We've got a little bit of perspective. We're seeing the underside of her face. I have to do some major surgery to this piece today to be able to apply all these changes. All right, so we're first going to start off with the head. We're going to try to liquefy this to match what perspective we're seeing there. And now I'm going to move this head to be in that position that I want. And the next thing is the chest. Now let's liquefy that. So filter, liquefy, I got my reference, my mind's eye sees the perspective line. And I'm going to get rid of this braid and kind of draw a gesture line for where I want that braid to go, something like that. And then I'm going to get the legs and do exactly what I see in the legs. I have the legs where I want them generally. Um, I'd like to make them a bit bigger. So now we've got gesture line. We've got gesture line moving like that, like this. And I really want to keep exaggerating that, that whole setup that we're seeing in the model. Uh, I want the legs to feel a little bit longer. It still feels a little bit constricted. And then now I'm going to talk about the colors. So you picked a white background and your colors are like insanely boring, insanely boring. You have white backgrounds, so there's no reason why your saturation has to be so low. You have more than enough saturation um, space because you have a white background, meaning light is really accessible in this character. I'm gonna just level out all the colors. I'm gonna try to keep it warm. You're using a lot of warm tones, so I'm just gonna level out the colors. You saw how much I boosted that, um, that, that, that saturation line. That was a lot, that, that slider. So there's no reason why your character should look dull and dead and just lifeless like that. There's no reason at all. And um, actually what I'm gonna do instead is just a gray gradient coming from the top. Um, and that'll kind of give the scene a bit more space, a bit more space. So it's white on the bottom, but it's dark at the top just so we can show off some of that rim light. There's also just making her booty bigger, really focusing on the kind of the, the, the whole pinup of the whole thing. So like doing something like that while keeping the body tilted this way while keeping the, the torso facing that way you're tilting this this way um so that's kind of like something that they do in these uh pinup pieces is they make the torso move and twist so as you're sitting in your chair 
move your torso but without moving your hips and then move your hips in the opposite direction it's like a model's trick to making more interesting features so that's just one of the things you could use um so being being part of this whole uh uh, art world is to study other art forms so literally sitting there and looking at how um, like how models pose in RuPaul's Drag Race or looking at how models pose in um, fashion shows or look flipping through magazines and looking how they're posing that's all part of becoming an artist that's all part of learning how to art is learning how to how art works in other fields and how to bring it back into your own. Um, that's something my students do in private tutoring a lot. I, I, I write down their homework for them and I tell them, listen, for homework, you are going to watch a movie. You are going to flip through it. You are going to watch a ballet um, show. You are going to watch, you're going to try to get this information in your brain without a flat picture on Google. You're going to interact with your reference. You're going to find this information in another field. So reason why you guys, reason why your drawings suck is because you don't pick up references from other worlds, from other uh, environments of art and your work just suffers for it because you don't actually have any interaction with the outside world. You are stuck in your own little box of art. You don't look at other things. You don't, you barely watch movies. Oh, to watch movies is a waste of time. I'm an artist, I have a lot to grind. I can't I can't afford you know sitting down watching movies but that's that's why you're that's where you're getting information to pull from in your pieces is movies that's what you're drawing for uh, one thing I'm going to, to, to do to make her face look more interesting is just kind of give her a lipstick um, I feel like it's going to complete that whole look uh, so before flat character if the character has been flattened character looks very vampiric if that's what you meant keep the skin vampiric why does everything else have to also be dull it's all your colors they're all dull the perspective was okay in the head but it was a safe basic three-quarter view perspective the body was front view this leg was straight up front view and this leg as well there was no light no light environment after the character is twisting turning doing a lot I want to do more I really do but I don't have time um, I may have time for a little hip bump. Um, I'm a dancer. I love dancing. Dancing is my life. So when I see a character that has a lot of dance potential, I love exaggerating it. And I'm Arab, so we belly dance. So I love taking advantage of all of that and, uh, and just trying to show where I can bring in a bit of that belly dance when I, when I, uh, when I paint a character. Um, again, before very very dull colors that's the thing that sticks out the most but i don't want it to stick out the most do you see how dangerous color is even in the before and after all you can really think about is the color do you guys notice that take a moment and notice that in the before and after it's the colors that pop out to you it's not the liquefied changes that i made or the pose but what took longer saturation was just a slide it was milliseconds to change the colors you see how diabolical colors are before after the real change is in the perspective but colors are so entertaining, they take up everything. I want you guys to notice that right now. The thing that pops out to you the most is the color. That's the real change in your eyes because your eyes are picking up more color. But as an artist, you have to see past that. You have to see how the most of the changes are because of the dynamic pose change, um, not the colors. The dynamic pose change was like the whole class but the colors was milliseconds in relation. I just had to move the slider up, okay? And then we're just looking at the face perspective. All of these lines, I just, right here, they were all told to me right here with Portrait Studio. Um, it is on sale, it's on my website. It's only gonna be on sale until the end of April. If you guys want a copy of Portrait Studio, if you guys want your work critiqued, if you guys want to be part of the community, if you want to join the design challenge, there's currently a design challenge. Basically just like this, but it's a floral humanoid. You wanna know all about it, you don't know what I'm talking about, go to istabrak.com and click on the subreddit icon right here. 
Um, and it's right here. It's that time again, Floral Humanoids Design Challenge with my masterclass, a portfolio review, portrait port studio. You saw me use it today. You could win it for free and my brushes. And it's not the person who draws the best that wins this challenge. That's not what my community is about. It's not about glorifying pro artists. It's about helping the artists that are, that are on their way to becoming pros and giving them that push, that faith in themselves that they need to believe um, and uh, that they need to have in order to, to believe that they can build a portfolio. It's a portfolio piece. It's who tried the hardest, who, who really pushed in their imagination and all they really needed is a push in their skill to match their imagination. That's the artist I'm after. That's the one I want to find. That's the one who I want to make my student and give them a portfolio review. That's the one I want to sit down in a class with them, just like I'm sitting with you guys and talk to them face to face. Tell them this is where your skill is lacking, but you're amazing at what you're doing. Keep doing, keep pushing forward. Um, that's the kind of artist that's going to win this challenge. Um, and that's why I give so many resources to this artist, including Portrait Studio, my master class, all of that. Um, because I want them to succeed. And these are all free. To join is free. It's absolutely free. You just have to click here, read through it. And uh, this was the winner, one of the winners from last time. They did an amazing piece. This is just a cropped version. And I want you guys to push yourselves. Again, it wasn't just about skill. Last time I, I pushed a little bit towards the skill. Uh, but, uh, but this time it's going to be a little bit for skill and a lot of it for the spirit of the artist and how much they're putting into the challenge. Um, and what else do I want to cover? The store is where you can get Portrait Studio. So click on the store icon here. Portrait Studio is on sale. You saw like the raw power of Portrait Studio today. Um, it is my dream software. It is what I used to dream about developing and my team and I put it together and a lot of work went into it and a lot of work is still going into it. We are still pushing every single time to try to get this program to be the best it can be. It's free updates for life. You get a posable model, male and female, you get tons of infinite number and customization options. You get a bust, you get low poly head busts for students. I've always covered it, I've always talked about it. Please don't forget about Portrait Studio, think about it, it's on sale right now. And my master class is also on sale. Okay guys, thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next class, hopefully on Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. The week of the 25th and the 27th, I'll be on vacation going to museums and looking at dead stuff <laughs> um hopefully if the weather allows um and uh, i'll be i'll be back for the second and the fourth bye guys